Um, so we have nine terrapins. There are diamondback terrapins coming to the zoo. We're pretty excited about our new exhibit that will be opening here shortly. So diamondback terrapins are from the East Coast. Uh, they live in brackish water, which means the water is not quite fresh water, but it's not quite seawater either. It's right kind of right in the middle. So where that water is coming in um, from the river and mixing with that ocean water, we call that brackish water. So it's really cool. They're one of the only turtles who are adapted to live in this sort of environment. They're a smaller species of turtle. The males get to about five inches uh, carapace length, so that's going to be that top shell, um, whereas females uh, get up to about seven inches to nine. Um, so they're quite a bit bigger. Uh, so you can really tell the two, the males and the females, apart. Um, they have really cool colorations. Their skin can be anywhere from white to a dark gray, and they have dark spots along that skin. Um, diamondback terrapins actually eat a wide variety of animals. In the wild, they'll eat crustaceans, uh, they'll eat snails, crabs. Uh, here we feed them a variety of fish, uh, shrimp. We also give them really important uh, pellets and gel diet, which has all their nutrients kind of packed into that food item to keep them healthy and thriving here at the zoo. Uh, we are utilizing a space um, in the Discovery Center that has mostly just had plants um, in the past couple years, but we thought we would add something really special to that space uh, by giving the terrapins an exhibit. So we started just from the very beginning building a stand for our two exhibits to sit on. Uh, we have two separate systems that will actually combine together to be their full exhibit. We have one tank that's gonna be fresh water, so it's gonna have that opportunity for the terrapins to have water to drink, to kind of interact in that natural environment they would also be found. And then they can also move over to their saltwater side or the brackish side of the tank, which is gonna be a separate system so that they can get that really important salt um, for their shell growth. Uh, the, in the middle, there will be a sand pit where the turtles can actually get out of the water and they'll be able to bask. Um, it's really important for their shell growth to be able to bask. Our turtles here can actually live in the wild up to about 30 years of age. So these turtles will be here for quite some time. Uh, the females actually reach sexual maturity around uh, four to five years old. Um, so that's another really great reason for this sand pit that we have in between the two systems. Um, so these females have the opportunity to get out of the water and dig and lay those eggs. This species is considered near threatened due to climate change, loss of habitat, and the pet tree. Conservation status and protection is managed state by state they are native to. We can all do our part to save terrapins and other aquatic turtles by developing habits that will protect our waterways. Some examples include reducing single-use plastic, plant a garden that will help reduce the erosion, and support responsible pet ownership. For more information on how you can help, check out Blank Park Zoo's website. We're very excited for this exhibit uh, for multiple reasons. Uh, these, these turtles are very interactive with guests. Um, they're very social animals, so it'll be a really good opportunity for our guests coming to the zoo uh, to learn more about these East Coast turtles. We would like to thank Peg Armstrong Gutherson and her family for their support and generous donation to create this exhibit.